Hey there, Tubbies. Welcome back to 2230. If you're enjoying this content and want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. We love creating content for you and appreciate your support. Let's get started. The sentence of two months jail and a fine of 500 Singapore dollars for the 41-year-old Singaporean woman who stabbed her 11-year-old son in the thigh is a controversial one. Some people believe that the sentence is too lenient, while others believe that it is fair. Those who believe that the sentence is too lenient argue that the woman should have been given a longer prison sentence. They point out that she stabbed her son with a knife, which is a dangerous weapon. They also argue that the woman has a history of violence, having been convicted of a similar charge in 1999. Those who believe that the sentence is fair argue that the woman has shown remorse for her actions and that she has since forgiven her son. They also point out that the woman has no previous convictions for violent crimes. Ultimately, it is up to the courts to decide what is a fair sentence for each individual case. In this case, the judge has decided that two months jail and a fine of 500 Singapore dollars is a fair sentence. However, it is important to note that this is just one case and that the courts will decide on a case-by-case -case basis what is a fair sentence. Here are some factors that the courts may consider when deciding on a sentence. The severity of the crime. The defendant's criminal history. The defendant's remorse. The impact of the crime on the victim. The public interest. It is important to note that the courts will not always be able to satisfy everyone with their decisions. However, they will always try to make decisions that are fair and just. Thanks for tuning in to this response video. If you want to stay up to date on the latest reactions and responses, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, I love reading your comments and feedback. Once again thank you for viewing and I hope to see you on the next video.